Hello there guys and here's part 12 of the Wally Blender tutorial. So by the end of part 11 um, I've already gone along and straightened up this arm edge there you can see and um, we're going to need to join this to our object so that it will be mirrored on the other side. So um, in object mode select these two and we go to object and join and now you'll see it's also mirrored over on the other side. Ah, one thing, before doing that we need to apply the modifier that we have on here, the thickening modifier, so we'll apply that and now we join them together and there we go, so now we have it mirrored on both sides there. Um, let's go to our left view and you can see that this is now the kind of shape that we've got uh, cross-reference that to our reference image here you can see that we've got about the right thing the Wally arm on here is a little bit longer but if you look on the original Disney blueprint it's a bit shorter um, so that's the discrepancy there but I'll just leave it up to you which you prefer um, now I want to add in this recessed area at the rear there that's relatively easy to do um, actually we'll do that before we join the two objects so We've applied this modifier, we'll go over into edit mode um, and then we'll create some loop cuts. So we'll get the loop cut here and we'll place one, just check back there and we'll place another below it. So again loop cuts and it will go around here. Okay. And now we'll select these faces this face, this face, this face, and this face, and maybe around as far as there. E to extrude, and we'll extrude this inwards, just a tad. And that should be about sufficient for us. Back over into object mode. I'll join it up, object and join, and now it's joined up onto the other side, we have a copy of it on both sides. Okay, so now the next part I'm going to add in will be this area here, which is curved with a flat side and we'll create that pretty easily again here in object mode we're just going to create a new cylinder we're going to want to rotate this on the x-axis 90 degrees scale it down we'll go to a front view so we can maneuver it into position want it to be positioned so that, scale it again, sits around here. Okay. Now I've done that, go here into edit mode, we're going to select the end face, which we'll remove, and the rear face, which we'll remove, and then we're going to select these faces around here, which we can also remove. And we can select this edge. We'll drag back a little. Okay. Drag that edge up a bit as well just to keep the proportions about right. Check back to our reference image. Okay, that's looking about right to me. Okay, back here in object mode, we're going to scale 
on the y-axis z-axis there we go okay and scale a bit more on the y it should sit just behind the end there so so I'm going to go to a top view to help us align this up. Scale on the y-axis, back a little bit. There we go. Okay. That's about right for us. Uh, edit mode. Select the edges. Select edge loops. And then we're going to make a face here. On the end. Okay. Back into object mode. Select this object, go into edit mode. I just want to select these top faces here. Because this is a little bit high. select these faces and we'll drag them down a little and then on the bottom here we'll do a similar thing Drag them up a small amount. Okay. Back into object mode. Double check with our reference. Okay, it's looking good. Now here again, edit mode, we're going to select the edges here. edge loops, um, extrude, enter, scale, extrude again, so we just want a small lip on the end here, control B to bevel, I want this edge here, Select the edge loops. Let's go back with what we did there. Go E to extrude on the Y axis. Scale. Small amount. And E to extrude again. This time on the Y axis. And then we'll create a face. On the end there. Okay. Now control B to bevel. And the same here. Select the edge loops. Nah, alright. Go back into object mode. It's looking good. Check back with the reference image. OK. 
Okay, that's all about right. And now we'll just join it. Object and join. Now you'll see it's been replicated on both sides. The so next part we're going to be adding in will just be this cuff area here. And then we'll start on the hand in the actual uh, next tutorial. So again, this is going to be very straightforward to do. You should be getting familiar with these work processes by now. Create a cylinder. Rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. Scale it. Just check back with the reference image. All right. Let's go to the front view. Position it around center. Okay, scale on the y-axis. And then we want a, a beveled end, it's going to be a flat bevel. So edit mode. Select the edge loops. Um, control B to, uh, sorry, Command B to bevel. Or Alt B to bevel. Select these edges again. Select the edge loops. The bevel tool. It'll be over here in tools. And we want just one segment for this. I select this front edge loop again. Drag that out slightly in this rear edge loop. Move it back. Okay, and I'm going to scale in this front edge loop. Scale that down a little. Okay, and then we'll put this inner circle in, which is where the hand area is going to come out. So extrude, enter, scale, extrude again. It's a little far, just comes out a small amount. Then we'll go extrude, scale, and extrude out again. It's a little bit further this time. Go to our left view. Probably about there for the actual wrist to start. Okay. Now we've got that. Back into object mode. Select here, join, and now we've got our arms as far as the wrists on each side. So in the next part of the tutorial, we can begin to add in the hands of Wally. -E. 
So thanks for tuning in to part 12. Um, part 13, we'll be doing the hands and then it'll be time to move on to the tracks at the bottom um, before we can then start looking at rigging the object and animating it. So I hope that you found this tutorial useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with the latest tutorials here. And at the bottom of the video, you can also find the link to download the latest project file for part 12 so you can open it up in Blender and have a look at it yourself. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.